what has gone from the drawing board to the reality is this the use of neural interfacing and physiological interfacing through the idea of remote controlled small scale systems to create a nano swarm of biopenetrable materials that you cannot see that can penetrate all but the most robust biochemical filters that are able to integrate themselves through a variety of membranes, mucous membranes, and wherever, mouth, nose, ears, eyes, and they can be done in such a level that their presence is almost impossible to detect, and as such, the attribution becomes exceedingly difficult to demonstrate. The idea here is to put minimal-sized electrodes in a network within a brain through only minimal intervention to be able to read and write into the brain function in real time, remotely. A group of scientists say we are closer than ever to creating technology which can emerge with human biology in order to access the cloud in real time. Confused? Well, RT's Rachel Blevins is here and has all the details. Can you imagine technology that is so advanced it could provide you with instant access to the world's knowledge and artificial intelligence as soon as you think of a specific topic? According to a group of scientists, neural nanorobotics may be developed to enable a safe, secure, instantaneous, real-time interface between the human brain and both biological and non-biological computing systems. This level of technology could include brain-to-brain -brain interfaces, brain-to-computer interfaces, and specifically brain-to-cloud interfaces. Technology linking the brain to the cloud could drastically alter the state of communications between humans and machines. So in order for this to become possible, the study noted that data transfer between living human brains and the cloud would likely require the use of supercomputers with artificial intelligence algorithms. While they say that there are supercomputers with processing speeds fast enough to handle the necessary volumes of data right now, they still have to create tiny devices that would be embedded deep in the brain. I can create small robotic units, controllable robotic units at the nanoscale, and that these two can be aerosolized. The idea here is to put minimal sized electrodes in a network within a brain through only minimal intervention to be able to read and write into the brain function in real time, remotely. The senior author of the study noted that once inside the brain, the devices would then wirelessly transmit encoded information to and from a cloud-based supercomputer network for real-time brain state monitoring and data extraction. Such a breakthrough in technology has the power to transform communications, education, work, and the world as we know it. But with the requirement of tiny devices being inserted into your brain in order to access the cloud, it remains to be seen just how many people will be willing to participate. This is a very touchy area, but the disruptive effect can be huge. It can target key individuals and influence in ways that are kinetic and non-kinetic. The attitudes, beliefs, thoughts, emotions, activities, and relative vulnerabilities and predispositions of those individuals for whom may threaten us. It used to be that I need to be exceedingly close to someone to now influence them with a weapon. And now what we see is we create both distal potential as well as much more capable potential to affect them in a variety of different ways.